<laughs> Got some new jobs lined up. Capital laid too, if you're lucky. Got wind of some work needs doing. Might even find some Capitale along the way. You know, Martell is talking about a new golden opportunity for anyone who returns enough Capitale. I reckon I know what Martell has planned for you. But you gotta find out the hard way. Huh. Martell must be pleased with you. Enjoy it while it lasts. Here. He sent you this. Godspeed. Senator Ricard. You recall we spoke of him? The man who has so foolishly been trying to make his reputation at the expense of my employer. He wishes to put himself and his beloved Lemoyne in the headlines of next year's Centennial State Fair in Sacramento. And he has devised quite the centerpiece. Three of the world's most famous jewels brought together for a single exhibit. Except, we will ensure they never meet. One by one, as they are taken west, you will find them, you will procure them, and if you value my friendship as highly as you should, you will bring them to me. Today's prize, the diamond, Il Sovrano. Pale yellow, so big you could not close it in your fist. If you believe the stories, it was stolen from a temple in India, and tragic fates have since befallen its owners. For Senator Ricard, we give the curls a little assistance. Yes? A consortium of your southern nobility have paid handsomely for the privilege of hosting the stone in Rhodes before it travels west. Tonight, the senator's representative comes to collect it. You will ensure that it never enters his possession. around here. Well, it's about that time, gentlemen. Of course. Well, you must pass on our thanks to Senator Ricard. It's been quite the thrill hosting well, the you infamous know where I am. Serrano. I shall pass that along. Well, Uncle. Uncle. <laughs> uh, he's been quite spellbound. You need a drink? Something to loosen you up? Time to return the stone. Hello. Of course. Of course. But, uh, well, I don't have it on me. What? Oh, where is it? Look Careful, then. <laughs> Don't blow your tongue. It's close by. Made a note of the location and everything. Right. How do you do, sir? Well, as I was about to say to the senator's esteemed representative here, Mr. Uh, uh, Hello. Uh, just lieutenant will be fine, sir. Well, yes, yes, of course. Well, lieutenant. Hello. I've been thinking this fair, this uh, stinks. 
fan. I mean, <laughs> dress it up how you may, but the very world gives the game away, does it not? Why, it's not the way to call it. Come on, Mr. Chief. Come on. The civilized among us here in Rome is our second start. And therefore, in a far better position to exhibit this jewel in the manner to which it has surely become accustomed. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm certain you would, sir, but this is the Centennial Fair. I assure you, it is not a common car. The Il Serrano Diamond is the center of this exhibit, and Senator Ricard is expecting it to be there. Of course, of course. I don't mean to be obstructed. Got plans this evening? If you really want me to fix whatever's wrong with you. Oh!
Of all the treasures, I could never have thought I have one like this in my presence, let alone in my hands. You have done well, my friend.